Have you been wondering how to use that pesky intruder tab in Burp Suite? I'm Daniel Lowry with IT Pro TV, and in this episode of What the Pros Know, I'll show you how. So you've downloaded, installed Burp Suite, and you're wanting to fiddle around with that intruder tab, but you're not exactly sure what it does. Really simply, the intruder in Burp will allow you to well, change parameters that you set so that you can cycle through or iterate through a list of other types of things. And what I mean by that is, I'm gonna be really plain and simple here in just a second. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Burp Suite Intruder to brute force an authentication mechanism on a website. So I've en enlisted the help of the good old buggy web application known as the BWAP, which is right here, which happens to have a login app about around this area right here. Now forget that whole part where it says enter your credentials. We don't see that, right? This is a normal web application and I wanna test it. What I can do is I can type in test and test and try to log in, but that doesn't work. And if I were to try to do it manually, it'd take forever. Well, that's where the Burp Suite intruder comes in. I can actually resend over and over and over again, programmatically, if you will, using Burp Suite with that intruder tab a bunch of different variables for each the username and the password, ultimately, hopefully, brute forcing my way into this system. So let's jump back over into Burp Suite. And if we look in my HTTP history under the proxy tab right here at the top, I'll see that post request for that login. If we just scroll down just a little bit, you'll see even all the information that was sent over there. If I right click in this, I'll notice I have the send to intruder tab right there. Once I have that intruder tab, go to intruder right there at the top and I'll have some options. One of them is positions. Go to the positions tab and you will see that there are some highlighted in green attributes right there. These are what it thinks it should be using. But I'm just going to move over to here to the right and clear it out. The other thing I'm going to do is now I'm going to actually highlight what I want to, to test for. So I'm going to highlight the word test under the login area and hit add. Then I will do the same thing for passwords. So I'm just gonna highlight, I will highlight, there we go, test under password and hit add. All right, so now I've added my two fields. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this attack type up here at the top. By default, it's set to sniper. What I'm gonna do is hit my drop down. Wow, that is a long bar. Hit my drop down and go to cluster bomb because I'm having multiple different areas in which I want to fuzz out, okay? Now I want to go to the payloads tab and under payload sets, I have one and two. So I'm gonna, for set one, that was gonna be my username and I have created a list. I could just add them in here manually if I want. That's pretty simple, just add it in there, any of the usernames I'd like to use, but I've created a list, so I'll just load that up. It is called users short and hit open. I'll do the same thing for the passwords, but I'll have to go back up to payload sets, hit that payload set, drop the two, and then load common passwords. And I got a short one for that as well. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. Open that up. All right, now I'm set to jet. All I have to do is hit start attack. It will let me know that this is being throttled because it's the community edition, not the full edition of Burp Suite. Now, once that's done, this is going to run for just a few seconds. We can see we are on 17 of 45, 18 and so on, and it'll eventually complete out. This is throttled, so if you have a long list, it could take quite a few minutes, so make sure that you have a cup of coffee and a sandwich ready to go. But once we're done, we should be able to look through these requests and responses and these status codes, and uh, some of these things can help us. Length can be a great one. You'll notice that with this option right here, I got a different size in the length right there. You know, it's 454 instead of this 4388. And I got a different status, which was a 302, which is a redirect. Noticing that, I'll probably want to try to use that and see if it will allow me to log in. So it was B and bug. I'll cancel this. Go back to the BWAP. I'll try B and bug, which allows me to log in. There you go. Now you can see how the intruder can help us iterate through a list of different things to fuzz out or even brute force certain items in web applications uh, throughout the world. So hopefully that helps you out with understanding what the intruder does, and now you're able to successfully use it. Check out our playlist for more What the Pros Know, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.